In this part of our training package, I want to introduce some of the useful accessories for a pressure gauge. So let me just write this one for you. These are the accessories of a pressure gauge. So, first of all, let's start with a manifold. You write it here. Two-way valve manifold. It's a kind of device. The time that you install a pressure gauge on a tap, you may use this one uh, to actually put it into the service or into the case uh, easily. And if you want to just uh, remove it from the service, you can just uh, do that very easily and without, uh, I mean, any, uh, uh, how can you say, leakaging or having some uh, leaking in the, uh, you know, uh, project. But how? First of all, let me draw it very fast for you. Just imagine it's our line or it's a pipe. The fluid is streaming through it. Here we have a tap. This item actually is fulfilled or is implemented by a piping actually section or by piping engineer. Here actually is, this is the scope of the piping department. I can just you know draw it as case of piping department for you. As you can see here, for the first time, the time that the uh, piping department wants to drill the pipe and put a tap on it, they just put a valve, it would be called as isolating valve, to actually uh, separate the piping uh, section and instrument section with each other. So in this part, I mean in this section, this is my job, I mean as an instrument, uh, sorry, instrument, yes, as an instrument engineer, this part is related to me and I have to actually consider some items here. Uh, for considering the related of the uh, isolating valve, which is, uh, you know, in the scope of the piping work, you must actually check the related standards, but sometimes we can find uh, this valve with the size of three, four inches. Sometimes we can find it as half of inches or sometimes we can just find it as one inches. So it actually depends on the standard that uh, the piping, uh, you know, uh, section works on. So after that, you know, as a kind of, you know, instrument engineer, I have to put some fittings here. Again, I should just tell you that, please, um, don't worry about these fittings that I just draw for you because in the foreseeable future, in the hookup installation part, I will teach you all these fittings and you will get familiar with these items later. Here, it was a kind of thing that I told you, it's a manifold, it's a two-way manifold, so I have to write, oh, sorry, I have to draw uh, two, uh, you know, actuators for opening and closing of it and here there is a cap. And finally, you can find the pressure gauge. You know, the part of a manifold which is closer to the instrument would be called as instrument connection. I mean this part. This is instrument connection. And the part of the valve which is close to the pipe would be called as process connection. So, you may ex expect that the instrument connection size must be half of inches MPT and it must be female because as you could remember, the connection of the circuit was half of inches NPTM. I mean, it was considered as the male one, so it must be female to be joined to each other and actually screw inside of each other. About the process connection, you know, it can be uh, have you know diff, uh, various types of uh, connection, but uh, you know, to some extent, we just consider it as half of inches NPTF. 
but there are some other types uh, in industry which have been produced based on mail uh, connection too. So it depends on you know which uh, uh, to which manifold, I mean which accessory you supply in your project. So about the material of the manifold, I would like to tell you that it must be considered based on stainless steel uh, three. 116 because actually it's a vetted part of uh, our system and uh, you know it must have chosen sorry sorry it uh, must be chosen based on one of these pressure rating that I'm writing here for you one of them may be applicable for you based on the pressure of the line. It can be, for example, 1,500 or 3,000 or 6,000. This one actually is pound uh, score of inches. You know, this is the uh, pressure rating of the manifold, which must be considered the time that you want to supply a manifold for your uh, project. Uh, about the other things, I have to tell you about this item. This item is a drain hole, drain hole, and the size of it is a quarter of inches. In some projects, unfortunately, I saw that you know this uh, hole was plugged uh, by a plug, actually by a stainless steel plug. This one, unfortunately, is uh, not a really good solution for that. Why? Because maybe sometimes you know this plug is a little bit loose or. Uh, actually, uh, you are not really sure about, you know, fastening up it. As you know that there is pressure, you know, uh, the back side of it. So unfortunately, the time that the operator tries to open the related, uh, you know, valve on this manifold, maybe it can be shoot, you know, just like a bullet of the gun. And in this case, it's going to be really dangerous. and. Uh, maybe you know uh, you can find you know some types of harmful and detrimental effect on your side especially it can you know pose a danger to your operator health too so uh, the best solution for this one is that you try to put a tube I mean a quarter inch of tube here and then try to uh, you know guide the tube to a safe side maybe for example a, a drain pot or some other things uh, that's for sure in the related picture that I'm going to show you later, I will show you which types of you know, solution have been um, you know, uh, implemented for this thing. I, I told you, please do not just plug it because it's a little bit dangerous. So, back to this one, maybe you want to find out how this uh, accessory works and how can actually, you know, uh, get familiar with the internal part of two-way manifold. So let me just draw something here uh, to clarify it more for you. Just imagine it's a van manifold based on the thing that I wrote for you, it's two-way valve. You are expecting to see two valves here. So these are two valves. Okay. And let me con complete it in this case. So these are two levers of those valves. I've just drawn it for you. And you can see here that this part would be called as a process connection. I've already written it for you. And this one is instrument connection. I just told you that this part would be considered as the uh, male, uh, sorry, as the female one, I can just write here. And this one is usually male one. So that's it. And here you can see the drain hole. Uh, which is not plugged because I just told you before why is the reason of it. And now I want to tell you and explain more how you can uh, use this one and what the performance uh, is exactly. Listen to me. The time that you just, uh, you know, install it on the pipe, for the first item or the, for, for the first stage, these two valves must be totally closed. After that, you put the pressure gauge on it and then you screw it. You can use, for example, one or two stripes of 
Teflon for actually decreasing the amount of leakage and actually for having a good sealing, you may apply it. So after that, very smoothly try to open this valve and as you can see, the fluid here comes up and goes through the pressure gauge and after that the pointer goes forward or comes forward and you can see about the pressure that you know exists in the line. Now maybe you need to extract the amount of you know bubble of the air or bubble of the gas uh, which was you know in the uh, you know, path or in the route. So for this item first of all you just unplug the drain smoothly try to open this one and you can find out a little you know uh, of uh, Floyd comes out the time that you just see that close it then you plug it after that it can just work properly and without any problems I just told you again please just try to uh, guide this one same as the thing that I wrote for you here I draw it here for you to the for example closed drain and here it's better for you to use a tube I mean I don't know a quarter of inches of tube and here for example is a closed drain this one can be really better it's more it's much more safe closed drain instead of actually using a plug over there so now just imagine you want to remove your pressure gauge uh, from your manifold. Why? For example, you just want to send it to the laboratory for calibration. Now, listen to me about the thing that you want to do or you must uh, do for removing the pressure gauge from the manifold. In this case, first of all, try to close this valve. That's for sure, you know, the connection of the fluid and pressure gauge would be totally uh, isolated. After that, very smoothly try to open up this one and that's for sure, you know, the uh, Floyd which has been trapped before comes out from this way and now you're totally sure that there is no Floyd over there so by means of, you know, some uh, tools or something just like that you can just, you know, remove the pressure gauge and uh, from the manifold and send it to the calibration lab laboratory. The time that you get back your pressure gauge you can just install it and uh, again, by means of, you know, those valves that I told you, you just put it into the service again. So here we want to talk about the accessories of uh, a pressure gauge and the first one, which is one of the most important one, is a two-way valve manifold. Can you see that this one? It's here from the tap. This one is the tap or the uh, piping tap. You can see that here, uh, which was... Uh, you know, considered by piping in, by piping engineering departments on a pipe. So after the tap, you can see the isolating valve here for, to isolate the, uh, you know, instrument section with a piping section. After that, we applied, you know, some types of fittings. It's uh, totally clear and obvious here. Uh, in a different section of my training, which is related for hookup installation, I'm going to uh, elaborate all those things in details with you, and I will explain it uh, later. Here, you can find the pressure, uh, you can find the manifold of the pressure too. Actually, it has two ways. That's why it's called as two-way manifold, and you can see the, the drawing of. Uh, inside of the manifold too, it was a thing that I just drew for you before on the whiteboard and finally you can just see the pressure gauge over there. Here you can just find a plug. Uh, I just mentioned that based on you know some HSE uh, regulations or loose, uh, sorry, rules. Sometimes we are not allowed to put uh, this plug on the drain hole of the manifold. Instead, you need to use some tubes to just, you know, guide the fluid to the, uh, you know, a, a safe place. I mean, a, a drain, a, sorry, a closed drain. You can see, uh, actually,